Anin Vaksha Tina Keeper Nindushnikas. I am very pleased to be joining you today to talk to you about a project which is being uh, built in Kandakan First Nation. Uh, just to start, I want to let you know that I am originally from Nori House Cree Nation at Guinness ASCP. Uh, in the Treaty 5 territory. And that is where my father is from, Joe Keeper. On my mother's side, my late mother was Phyllis Keeper. Uh, she is originally a Beardy. Her parents were Eliezer and Madeline Beardy. They are from Muskrat Dam First Nation in the Treaty 9 territory. So it is an honor to be with you today and I am here to talk to you about the Community Safety Village which is being uh, constructed and developed for Pekanjikam First Nation. So the Community Safety Village will be made for Pekanjikam member citizens. It is a safe house, a safe shelter which will be for women and family members who are facing violence. The safe house will provide safe and secure shelter, staff who will assist with emotional relief and culturally appropriate services for individuals in the community who are seeking to escape violence or abuse. The safe house will be a temporary safe place with staff and support and also Upon the request of individuals and families, you can receive the support from the elders from Pekanjikam First Nation. And of course, all of the services will be in Ojibwe if that is requested. Your Anishinaabemowin is a primary language. The safe house that I'm talking about is not actually a house type of a building though. It is more like a motel and it is being designed for the purpose of providing a safe shelter. So it will have rooms for individual residents and it will also have suites for small, um, for families. Um, it will have staff offices and a common room for visits. It will have a kitchen area and uh, traditional meals will be part of the um, way the shelter operates. And there will also be a healing room and a room for people to have uh, counsel and to have prayers and to meet with their counselors or their elders. There will also be an outside space to the building, which is also a safe, secure space for the residents. And it will have a yard area which will have a fire pit and that could be used either for group counseling meetings or visits, a visit with the elders again. And there will also be a decorative wall um, just behind the fire pit uh, to sort of um, give it an enclosed kind of area feel and that will be made of willow, willow branches. So the leadership of Pekanjikam First Nation, the chief and council and the elders, they have been very strong in their voices to have the opportunity for people in Pekanjikam to stay in their community to receive these services. They don't believe that it should be mandatory or it should be um, necessary for people to leave the community to seek safety and shelter and services. Um, they have had many partners uh, work with Chief Owen and Council and that has made the Community Safety Village a possibility. And it includes the Federal Government of Canada, the Provincial Government of Ontario, the Anishinaabe Eski Nation, uh, Habitat for Humanity, and the Inchoke Burnstick School and the OPP. So the main ideas for the Community Safety Village has been to keep the services within the community. 
so that the community can heal together, to seek new solutions, because there are so many young families and children in Kanjikum First Nation. And the Kanjikum needs to find new ways to keep the families together, to keep the children safe, the women and the elders safe, and to bring the knowledge of the elders back to the center of the healing for the people of the Kanjikum First Nation. So this community safety village will provide safe shelter and it will provide education workshops and it will help families find their healing path. Another important part of this uh, building is going to be a second wing and that second wing, like I said, is going to be like a motel. It, that second wing will have um, rooms for staff to stay at and um, for OPP to stay at. And so again, it will be a safe, secure, separate um, space from the shelter. But it is also a way for the community to make uh, money and funding to keep the safe shelter open. So I wish you all the very best. I'm honored as always to speak to the people of Patanjikum First Nation. As I said, my mother, my late mother was from Muskrat Dam First Nation and I recall the people of the Kanjikum come coming to the uh, community feast and the elders feast. And so it is always an honor for me to participate in the efforts of the Kanjikum First Nation. So that is it for the information that I will share about the community safety village and the safe shelter. Um, but I will be posting this and on the Facebook post that um, this video will be on, there will be a number of links that are below the post. And those links, you can click on those links and it will show you pictures of the building. And there will also be some uh, um, movie links of uh, drone footage of your community. So if you have any questions or concerns, you can always Send them in a Facebook message and we will do our best to address your concerns. And I thank you, Kitchimi Gwetch, for this opportunity. And congratulations to the Kanjikum First Nation for this community safety village.